good. Here I am uh, with the 720 Hobby King Wing Cam. 720p, first time trying it. <clears throat> it's going to be my hat cam. We're going to take up the Dynam P47 uh, 1200 series, 1200 mm millimeter series Warbird. Uh, we're all ready to go here. Um, doing a check for the flying surfaces. They seem to be all right here. This one's a little untrimmed, but we'll check it out and see how it flies. Okay. So, we're going to get ready to take it up. Let's go for a spin. Don't waste too much time here. Got about a 10 mile, 10, 15 mile an hour wind. So, we'll take it on up. Get it on down here to taxi. Now, this is my third flight with this. <clears throat> I absolutely enjoy flying the P47. Uh, Dynam has made some really good planes. Uh, the foam is great. Putting them together is great. The only problem I've had with these, uh, they have magnets that hold on the cowlings. And these cowlings, uh, for me, they vibrated off, so I ended up rigging it with gluing some pieces of plastic in it uh, and then putting some screws on it. That way the cowl will stay on there. Here we go. But other than that, this is a pretty much stock setup. I'm using a two blade prop. Uh, 13 8 two blade prop on this one. It flies great. They're all trimmed out here. I think I've got it on medium timing on the motor. So, I mean, it's not a power monster, but it does, I mean, it's more than enough to have fun with. It's about half throttle there. We are going upwind, so now we're going downwind. And get that motor on up. So I'm hoping that my hat cam, I hope I have it uh, set just right on my hat to where I'm getting everything I need in here. She does have plenty of power. I mean, it's not, like I said, not a speed monster but plenty of torque to make a climb do some good stuff here but just a great flying foam warbird and this thing pretty much flies uh, really hands off on the transmitter flies itself pretty much. On low rates it'll glide in pretty nicely. I don't have flaps on this because it lands okay. It's a full speed pass. Like I said it's not a speed demon but it's not set up for it. Uh, since I am running a bigger prop I'm gonna try the high timing on this ESC programming. See if I can get a little more power out of it. Or in the future, just go with a 12.6 prop. Now, this motor, the stock one that comes with it, is a 500 kilovolt motor. So, I mean, it's it's low kilovolts. It's going to turn a big prop. I don't know if a small prop is going to be too much for it. But I just put this thing on the watt meter, and it was about almost 300 watts, uh, pulling a little over, just just under, uh, actually, right about 20 amps. Uh, I've got a 40 amps, you know, the speed controller in it, the stock one. Uh, so we got a little wind today, probably about 10 miles an hour, as you can see my little flag over there, the wind, uh, the wind stock on my truck, it's moving pretty good. See, if you go downwind, you get speed, but when you go inwind, of course, it's going to slow you down. But it's one, one great flying model, I love this thing. Just get right on the deck, 
That's, I mean, it looks pretty. Very scaly. So like I said, I hope I'm getting most of this. This camera is way better than the one I had. I used to have one of those keychain, uh, mini keychain cameras. And video quality is not all that great on those, but this one's supposedly a 720p, and it's supposed to have a uh, 120 degree uh, wide view angle. So I should be able to get a lot better video. But other than that, you can see it just handles absolutely smooth. Even with the wind kicking it, not bad at all. Fun warbird fly. Now that's some down on the deck action right there, man. But she's big enough and light enough. I mean, you can you can turn tight corners with her. I'm in a parking lot that's probably about 75 by 50 feet wide, 75 feet long, and I, as you can see, I'm able to turn well within the you know just outside the range of this little parking lot. And I mean, I can keep the turns tight. She flies great, smooth. Handles just excellent. Let's try some upwind stuff here, and I see if I can get the uh, get some slow flight action off of her. And, uh, here's do some retracks. So handles great. As you see, even the slow flight, I mean, very stable. I do have the CG right on. Uh, I'm flying with a four cell uh, Zippy 30C battery. That's a 2800 milliamp capacity, which uh, gives me a little bit longer flight times. And even with the uh, with that battery all the way up to the I mean all the way up to the front as far as it'll go with the built the cutout that it's already the stock cutout is just perfect, just a blast to fly. I've got some dial I've got some high rates on it, um, you know, nothing too cool, but I don't have really super high rates. Some inverted flight. But enough high rate so I can, you know, turn around real fast or, or do some, some rolls. That's some high rate rolls right here. But, you know, I can probably dial that up some more if I want to. Let's go, let's pull up right into a uh, high torque loop here. Bring it on low and woo! You see, she pulls up pretty darn good. Pulls out of it pretty good. I'll go ahead and see if we can bring her this for landing. We are uh, getting to, we don't want to make this video too long. So I've, I've cut the power right there. And I, and I mean, she just glides right in, as you can see. Not even, not a problem. It just settles in just beautifully. But, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I don't want it to be too long. Um, I'll cut this camera off, and I'll probably take another flight on this baby before I uh, end up putting her up. So anyways, that's the Dynam P47. Uh, pretty much full stock setup except for the two blade Master Air Screw 13x8 prop. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I guess we'll see you later.